Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a perfume haul. I have one full bottle and a couple travel sprays and then a bunch of samples. So keep tuned to see what I get. First thing I got is Aura Sensuelle by Mugler. This is discontinued, but you can still find it for pretty cheap. Um, this is like the springy version of Aura. If you've ever smelled Aura, you know it's a really sweet green perfume. And this is a flanker. Look at the bottle. That is just really pretty. I think it's like a fairy walking through the mythical forest. That's what it gives me. And this is like a sweet white floral version of Aura. It is super wearable. It projects, but it's not like crazy. Um, I don't say, I wouldn't say that it's like super mass appealing, but like it is more appealing than Aura, which is super polarizing if you have smelled it. Um, this is like a sweet jungle. And the other one is like a really moist jungle. So yeah, this is the only full bottle I got and that was a 50 ml. I think I got that for like $50. The next items I got were travel sprays and these are both orange blossom centric. The first is California Reverie from Van Cleef and Arpels. I used a decent amount of this, but it does remind me of, like, a bathroom, um, room spray. So I'm not crazy about it. And it does have a lot of jasmine in there, and it's quite citrusy. I don't think it's a true, like, orange blossom. Like, it's not only orange blossom. There are other things in there. So it wasn't quite what I was looking for. And another orange blossom perfume I found is Fleur d'Oranger from Serge Jouton. This one smells like a vintage take on orange blossom. And it is almost vintage. I think this came out in like uh, 2005. Don't quote me on that. But this is older. And I would say if you do like the vintagey white florals. This is for you. I think it has like clove or cumin in here, which gives it a little like spice. This is not for me. I am not into the vintagey florals. This is maybe more mature. So it would be a good present for a mom who likes floral perfumes. And the rest of what I have here are samples. I'm going to divide it by houses. So first I'm going to do Mansara, and this is Roses Vani, the famous Roses Vani. This smells like you're having a cup of lemon tea and there's a crushed rose petal pile surrounding it with sugar just piled on top. And you've also got some pennies in your tea. Like there's a metallic tinge. And it's very interesting. I would say that people like do enjoy this. But it's not a massive compliment getter I've found. Or at least not for me. I'm not sure. And the next Mansara is Coco Vani. This is also very sweet. This is not for me. This is like a very sugary coconut vanilla. Um, it lasts okay. This is discontinued too, I've heard. And let's continue with niche. Let's go with Memo Paris. This is Marfa. It's got the eyes. I'm glad I don't really like this because that's the bottle. It's a bunch of blue eyes staring at you. This has notes of oil of mandarin, orange blossom absolute, agave accord, tuberose absolute, oil of ylang ylang, oil of sandalwood, oil of cedar, vanilla seed, and white musk. 
This is done also in a more vintage style, but I do like it. It's alright, I wouldn't buy a full bottle, but I would use this up. It is more like summery. A lot of these are more summery. I didn't get very fall, winter perfumes. I just got what I wanted. Um, so on to another memo sample. This is Granada. This is even more summery. This has notes of oil of bergamot, pomegranate, orange blossom absolute, jasmine sambac absolute, heliotrope musk, amber wood accord. So as I said, this is more summery. And that's what the bottle looks like. I also don't really like that. I do really like this. I think it's a good like sunscreen type white floral perfume. It is quite expensive, but it is niche and it lasts a pretty good amount of time and it projects. And the last memo, which is more fall, um, it has frozen oud in it. And this is Argentina. Look at the packaging of this. That is so gorgeous. I would almost buy a bottle just to look at that. <laughs> This has Pink Pepper, Amphora Absolute, Rose Absolute, Jasmine Soundbuck Absolute, Magnolia Oil, and Oud Oil. So this is like that Rose and Oud for people who are new, for, are new to it. And it is like, it just smells kind of like black pepper and like a, a decent rose. Um, I'm not a big rose fan. I like jammy roses more. And this is like fresh. Um, it's not for me. But it is pretty nice. It's classy. It's sophisticated. I think 30 plus could wear it. Um, no real age limit. Just 30 and on. And on to a designer set. This is Lieb Eau de Toilette. This has notes of orange blossom, lavender, and white tea. If it didn't have any lavender, I think I would love it, like, so much. But I still do like this. I like the intense version, and then this version. The, the parfum version smells pretty much like the intense, and I already have that, so... Yeah, and I don't like the original because it's way too masculine. This is definitely, like, the summery version. It's pretty. I like the orange blossom in here. White tea is a beautiful note. And even the lavender isn't super offensive. So I think this is a pretty good scent. And also, if you know someone with like a summer or birthday, this would be a nice gift. And the last two perfumes I have are celebrity perfumes. I'll start with one I'm not a fan of. And this is a Elizabeth and James Nirvana French Grey, which has notes of musk, neroli, and lavender. It is quite a soapy, but like a masculine soap scent. Like, kind of like Irish Spring on steroids. That's what the bottle looks like. These are all discontinued. This brand doesn't exist anymore. But... I would snap these up in case you are interested. This is not for me. It's too masculine, too soapy. I'm not a big fan of masculine neroli. Most neroli I just can't deal with. But ending on a positive note, here is a sample that I love. And this is Near Dusk by Jennifer Aniston. It's hard to find full bottles of these. People on eBay and Mercari are just crazy. They're charging $80 for this for a celebrity perfume. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's like 40 originally retail. So this is a beachier version of Crystal Noir Eau de Toilette by Versace. This has coconut, nectarine, and it's just like a beautiful beachy scent. I think I think it has peony in it. It's got some florals. It's really beautiful. I like it. I wish 
full bottles were more accessible. That was my perfume haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you have a good day. Bye!